Hey there everyone, my name is Hitesh and welcome to the YouTube channel. I hope you are doing good and let's get started with another series that I really wanted to bring for so long but finally I got time to actually execute this. In this entire series, we are going to master Git and the associated services which are offered in the market. Some of them are quite popular and you might have heard about them such as GitHub, Bitbucket and there are plenty of others. Now in this entire series and the upcoming videos, we'll be focusing on mastering the Git from both perspectives, the theoretical perspective as well as the practical perspective. Every year, there are thousands and thousands of engineers who walk into the domain of software engineering and realize that building a software is not that easy as it looks like. It requires a lot of patience as well as a lot of tools are required to actually build these softwares. There are a lot of other engineers as well whom which you want to collaborate and work on a single software. And of course, there are days on which software works and of course, there are days on which software doesn't work. And for these kinds of special situations, we need checkpoints so that we can go back in the time where things were working absolutely fine and we can just start from there again. It is almost like saving a game, just like we have checkpoints in the game, exactly like that we can have checkpoints in the software as well. This whole thing is known as version control system or the versioning system in the software industry. And I just really feel that every year, thousands of engineers walk into this domain and want to really master this. A lot of tutorials which are recorded uh, previously or years before, they look a little outdated. Uh, of course, the technology is same, but of course, the delivery part, the content creation, the videos, they all need to upgrade from time to time. And this is exactly why I am recording this fresh series for all the engineers who are just getting started or want to learn Git. This is a fantastic series and you are going to absolutely love this one. Now, the, my goal is not to make sure that you memorize all the thousands and gazillions of commands which comes through the Git, but actually you understand the flow of how a software is designed and work along with me. The idea behind this series is not to understand thousand commands, but actually to understand how the workflow of a Git works when we actually design a software. What happens when things goes wrong? What happens when things goes great? And what's there inside and what's there behind the scene in the Git, which is all we want to learn. For this, we are going to use a mix of theory as well as practical. And yes, a lot of uh, tutorials goes really heavy on the practical, but that is exactly the point where you miss the behind the scene detail of what happens behind the scene in the Git. What is there in that Git folder and how we can actually study it. This tutorial and this entire series is going to be a mix of all of it and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this. Now, in order to get started, you don't need too much now that you have the basics of what this all is going on. We need just a couple of software that we're going to talk about and we will go through with the documentation. But as a preparation side, let me just share my screen so that I can walk you through that what all softwares we are going to need. First of all, about the notes. Uh, yes, these are my handwritten notes that I have prepared and we'll be walking through with these that how things goes on. It's much more easier to teach in the classical style of pen and paper and we will be doing that. But don't worry, we will also have the practical aspect of it. And for the practical aspect of it, we don't need too much of the softwares. I'll just tell you what are my favorite ones and you can just pick whatever you like. And since Git is one of the thing which I 100% still believe is a terminal first tool. There are a lot of GUIs as well, the GUIs, graphical user interface, but I still believe that you actually thrive in the industry of the Git via the command line. It might look a daunting first, but it is not. It is absolutely easy to work with this. And for the terminal, I'm going to be using warp. This is my default terminal these days. I'm actually absolutely loving this. Uh, the command line, it is something which is redesigned. Terminal was something which was never redesigned. And here's a good thing about it. The software, if you look at here, uh, this one, it is available for Mac, it is available for Linux, and they are already working on Windows. So by the time you might be watching the window, uh, video, uh, there might be already a Windows version, and it is absolutely a charm. By the way, if you don't like it, you can use any terminal, but I'll be using this one. I find this much more easier to work on with. Apart from this, we'll be also using Visual Studio Code. That's it. That's going to be our code editor. The best part is we will not be writing any code at all, but still I highly recommend to use this one. This entire series is going to be language independent since we want to master the Git and not a programming language. So we will not be writing any programming language. We'll be writing just the text data so that we can understand what goes on, what goes behind the scene and all these details. So these are the two softwares that are going to be required for you. And that is all. That is all what you need to get started with the series. Now, one thing I would like to mention here, 
in the very next video, we'll go ahead, download the Git, and we'll walk you through a couple of documentation and what to avoid in that documentation. It is absolutely a jungle if you just walk into that. Now, apart from this, please make sure you understand Git and GitHub are two very different things. One is a service provider and one is a software in itself. Git is a software that we want to learn. And one of the services is GitHub. Of course, we'll do, uh, we'll go there and we'll deep dive into this one. But there are a plethora of other services available there as well. So make sure you understand the difference between them. And that's all the basics to get started. I hope that's a good introduction for you. What's about to come and what's going to be there in the series itself. Uh, that's it for this video. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one and uh, uh, just set up everything and let's get started and let's dive deep into the world of Git.